Hi everyone, today I'm going to go over an explanation of free list malloc. Now imagine that we have a large chunk of memory, and this memory represents our heap. At first this heap is empty, as in there's no allocations being used here. But the idea behind free list malloc is whenever things are allocated and put into this heap, we're going to maintain a linked list of all of the free blocks of memory. Let's say some memory was allocated here. If we have some allocated memory here, we're going to maintain a linked list of all of the free portions, which represent the, this blank space here. So we actually want a linked list that where one element of our free memory references the next element of free memory. And if some portion of memory is added to that linked list, so let's say this part of memory is freed here that was previously allocated, the it will get added to the linked list. So there will actually be a pointer in the linked list that appends or prepends this to our linked list. So how do we divide this memory up so that we can actually create a linked list? Let's start off with a scenario where we just have one large chunk of memory here and not this block in the middle. We just have one large chunk of memory. In this case, we need to turn this large block of memory into a linked list node. And this is pretty easy to do in C. We can just set up some part of this memory as uh, our linked list struct. So our linked list struct, which is much smaller than the large block, would only take up about this much. And you can kind of think of this as like a header. And let's draw this header in here. And now, what actually goes into this linked list header? Well, we need a next pointer. And let's just also say we have a previous pointer. So this will be a doubly linked list. And we also need to know the size. Now here, size is referencing the size of this entire chunk. So how much memory is available in this linked list node, this free list? Let's say, for example, we have this code. We have p equals malloc, and we're mallocing 10 bytes, and then we're immediately freeing this memory. How would this code work in free list malloc? The first thing that needs to be done is we have to search our free list for a chunk that can fit a block of size 10. Let's assume for now that the size is maybe 100. We only have one chunk, one element of our linked list. In this case, since size is 100, we can fit our 10 block, our new allocated 10 block in here. This whole chunk should be now divided into two parts, one with our 10 block, and the rest will be free memory that will be used in our free list. So let's go ahead and do that. So in this case, our header goes away. We don't we have we no longer need our linked list node. And we're going to need a new header for the remaining block of memory. Okay, so we've done the allocation of p of this 10 bytes, what happened to our heap? Well, we have 10 bytes here, and this 10 bytes is used to actually store that, that payload. And so the P pointer is going to point to this spot right here. For an allocated block, we also have a small header, and for now let's just say it stores the size of the block. And the remaining space of our heap is going to be a sing uh, the new element of our free list. We still just have one, but it's smaller now. So the header is here for that free list. It has a next and a previous pointer. 
and it also has a size, but this time the size is going to be a little bit smaller. Well, let's not be exact here, but it'll probably be around 70 to 80 bytes. So now what happens if free is called on pointer p? Well, this chunk of memory here can now be added to the free list. So what happens after we call free? Well, in this case, we now have two elements of our free list. One would be the block that used to represent our payload. This now has a free list header with a next previous in size. And in this case, we put it onto the front of our list. So the head of the list points to where to this new element. Next will point to the next element in the list and previous of the the old block that we have will now point here. And this is sort of represented up here by these two pointers as well. So let's say we have a heap that looks like this. We have a number of small allocations that break up memory in such a way that we only have smaller bits of free memory available in our chunk in our in our free list. And if a large chunk of memory needs to be allocated, none of these may work for, they may not be big enough to store that larger allocation. And if none of these free regions are large enough to hold a new allocation, then we actually need to expand the heap. So this involves calling the SBRK or BRK system call in order to request more memory um, to put on top of the heap, and that will in turn be added to our linked list as a free list element. So if this is our linked list here, each node in our free list points to the next, and any additional memory allocated here should get added to the free list. Another scenario that we could have would be like this. Suppose that a bunch of small allocations have been made and then freed in succession. So a lot of small regions have been freed or allocated and then freed. The result of this would be that our heap, even though it could be empty, like in this case, the free list is actually divided up into smaller pieces. So if these, each of these are free, then our list would look like this. And so in a sense, we actually have some fragmentation issues. And you could easily sort of coalesce all of these again into one free chunk. And so defragmenting is just the process of taking each of these elements in your linked list, figuring out that they're adjacent and coalescing them into a single piece of memory.